Okay, here we are back at the 2400 volt washer launcher. Except now, it is hopefully 4800 volts. We've added a voltage doubler in the back. to see if we can get 4800 volts out of it. Doing some weird stuff there. What happened? Hmm. Well, didn't work. Yeah, we got a technical problem. Can it? What it said was four or five hundred volts, but then all of a sudden it dropped down. Let's see what it does. Oh wow! Uh, that definitely had a bit of bump to it, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, I think that's more than what you, <laughs> what you think you had. Something's wrong with my voltage divider. Uh huh. Great. Look at the the mark on the thing too. Sweet. Yeah, so uh, the problem is I'm not able to read the correct voltage. Okay, here we go again at the uh, 5 kV. Yeah, well, roughly around 5 kV. Uh, can crusher. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm using a voltage multiplier to take the output from the microwave oven transformer and double it into a defibrillator capacitor. In the previous run, I discovered that the voltage divider burned out. So it said it was only at one kilovolt. It was actually at a full 5 kV or something in that range. So we've rebuilt the voltage divider now. And I'm going to be retesting it. Oh, yeah. 5 kV. Here it goes. There's five, and my ears are still ringing. Five kV on a defibrillator capacitor. There's one of a previous one. And how that compares to the old electrolyte capacitors, the uh, crunching is much more concentrated into a shorter area. More power, but lasting shorter than what you get with the uh, electrolytic capacitor. So, Here's another one from the electrolytic days. So 5 kV, definitely doing it. Uh, the next question is, do I want to triple the voltage? But in order to do that, I need to get more microwave oven capacitors because I could only find one. So that's it for now.